At long last, hope is on the horizon again. With rising vaccination rates and falling infection rates, we're seeing the possibility of reopening economies for real this time, and the gradual retightening of labor markets, which is a fascinating thing to watch. We're seeing employers on both sides of the border having to raise wages for low paid workers above the minimum wage to lure them back into what is essentially working during a pandemic still. We're seeing gig workers actually trying to organize themselves into unions to improve working conditions and being backed by Supreme Court cases around the world. We're seeing New Zealand may be leading the parade one more time on sectoral bargaining for low paid workers, which it would be a real boon if we could do it here in Canada. And we have done it in the past. So we have all sorts of reasons to celebrate the momentum that is building uh, and lifting people up from the bottom up. But it's also true that we are in a moment where the care economy is being acknowledged as an economic driver around the world and people are seeing the potential for making profit out of it. And that will remain unless we are vigilant. And so I'm going to ask you to take a look at thecareeconomy.ca where we list the six principles for every government to live by in terms of governing the care economy, whether it's through budgets, or through electoral platforms, because we are looking at the potential for caring for profit, eclipsing what we need to do, which is caring for one another. And we are on the verge of being able to do exactly that. I hope you'll join me in asking our governments to govern the care economy for all our good.